Just give a praise for it this morning. Honey, tell us that you're here. Tell us that you can't do 
just have my Facebook live that's looking at us right now. But I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, tell Priscilla that I'm healing her heart condition right now. I don't even know who she is, but when I put my head on my heart, I saw her face and I saw the name Patrice and I heard the Lord say, he's healing your heart condition right now. I don't know who you are, but if you're out there, if somebody that you know, if you want to stand and talk to me, Patrice, put your hand on your heart.
hands to bow down for that marriage. Are you willing to bow down for your children? Are you willing to really bow down for it this morning?
receive it.
there is an unmistakable presence of God in this house today. There is an unmistakable presence of God in this house. So come and bow. Bow down.
Let us serve. Stop. 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 Right where you are. Stop. Everybody, stop. Freeze. Let's do this mannequin challenge right where you are. A spiritual mannequin challenge. Stop. Don't you move. Tell them, even if you're in the bathroom, stop. In the in this house right now. Everybody, stay right where you are. Don't even move. Don't even move. Freeze right where you are. Because God said, my spirit is moving. And God said, when I move and I'm clearing things out of your life, if you move, I will kill everything that moves. God said, I'm killing everything that's been moving in your life. There's some things that's been moving against you. There's some things that have been moving and been causing obstacles. God said, in this atmosphere while you're standing still, I am killing it. Be still and know that I am God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't you know when God is moving, we got to stay still and let God. Glory to God. Amen. You're released. You are released. You are released. You got to recognize. First time visitor in the house today. Is there any first time visitor in the house of the Lord today? Any first time visitor, you can stand. Amen. Amen. And if you don't mind, you can give us your name and the name of whoever invited you. You can, if you don't remember the name, you can just say Apostle Clive invited you. That would be me. Amen. I'm gonna go with the lady first. Amen. You can sit or stand. It don't matter. You can just give us your name. However you feel comfortable. Good morning. My Good name morning. is Tiwana Bartholomew. How are you doing? <laughs> um, how should I say this? Um, well, I'm friends with your wife on Facebook. So I saw the word <laughs> last night. And I decided to show up. I've been with church in years. <laughs> My God. So excuse me if I'm... <laughs> I'm like brand new. You know? Amen. Yes. So, but, you know, I'm enjoying it so far. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm a tough cookie <laughs> to break. You know, that's a big right devil, on. you know. Yes. So, um, yes, bear with me. Amen. Welcome Thank to you. our Thank night. You. Amen. 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 First time I've given up honor to God. Amen. First in my life and the last thing in my life. Amen. Amen. My name is Dolores Mayne Griffin. I'm a visitor with Brenda Dennis. She's been after me for a long time to come out. And today, last night, I decided, well, she asked me, asked me, and asked me, now it's time for me to go and visit with her. Amen. I am very happy to be here. Amen. And and I'm enjoying the service so far. Amen. This gentleman is right here. On my left, your right. I thought we'll go for the best dress thing in this church today. You got me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I truly like to give honor. My God. 
to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's definitely an honor to be in the house this morning. I'd like to give honor to the angels of this house. Um, Mr. Paul invited me. We have history. We go way back. Amen. Way back, like four flat tires. I mean. <laughs> um, I represent the Ulysses Generation Project. My name is Pharaoh Pierre Ulysses. Um, you know, it is a sweet spirit in this house this morning. I feel the Shekinah glory on peace. The Ruach, the Hakadesh. Mm. If I was to say something today, Jesus. I just I would kind of not rob you just to say this one thing. Jesus. God is still in the miracle business. Yeah. So the miracle business is not yet dead, but yet still alive. Glory. My God. That's all I have to say. God bless you. Glory! Glory, Glory to God. Come on, somebody get up on your feet. Just read a piece of water real quickly. And just show that some fathers are Christian sin and love. Amen. This is the hard church. Just hugging somebody. You know that walk. Give us some signs. Warren. Amen. 
Amen. And Deacon, <laughs> Deacon Woody Lewis Warren. Amen. Lewis Warren O'Brien Warren. Amen. Something like that. Amen. And to all of you, the awesome praise and worship team. Amen. Shaterika, um, amen, did an awesome job Woo! this morning. Amen. 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 We have a treat for you this morning. My beautiful wife, she will be breaking the bread of life this morning. She's looking at me because she don't want to do it. She thought handing the mic to me was going to get her out of it, but she don't know. If she wanted to do it, she should have kept the mic and said, I was going to preach. Amen. <laughs> amen. I thank God, though, for the power of God, the presence of God. Amen. Uh, before I go and I have my seat before bringing my wife, amen, I want to invite you uh, because I want to start our training back again, amen? Amen. So uh, I'm going to give you 15 to 20 minutes after service is over to greet and to do whatever, and I want, um, I'm going to um, do an introduction to our seat training, amen? amen. And, um, and for those of you that are interested in, uh, in growing spiritually, our seed training is for spiritual empowerment and emotional development. That's what seed stands for, amen? And then I also want to see the leaders also to just be present. So I'm not going to do any training today. I just want to meet with you and to um, just talk a little bit about what we're going to do because, um, you know, in case you don't know, um, there's, an, um, there's an online Christian college that is requesting for me to write this course for them. So they're going to accredit this course. So when you do this training that I'm doing, the C training is actually an accredited course. So we do give you a certificate at the end of it because it will be um, widely accepted. Amen. That you have completed this course. Amen. 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 So um, I'm giving you the, the, the beta version of that which God has given me um, to do. Amen. And, um, and we'll be doing um, advanced leadership training also for our leaders, amen. But the Lord has spoken to me while we were there um, in worship. And the Lord said, um, as um, Prophetess Warren had us say last week, um, greatness is in me, greatness is for me, greatness created me, and great I will be, amen. amen. I think it was more, I think I left out a line, oh, that was it, amen. And the, God, and the Lord kept talking to me all this week about that. And, uh, and he said, your assignment that I've given you is to identify the greatness that's in them and to develop it. Amen. Um, and, and the Lord showed me a demonstration, which I'm going to show you. I'm not going to preach. I'm going to show you a demonstration. And I'm going to get out of your way. Amen. Um, really and truly, I needed to have some more. Um, this was not what he showed me. He showed me, like, you know, y'all don't cool it, right? So I want you to um, our Kool-Aid, our iced tea, you know, uh, and, and what God did, God poured in us in seed form that which um, is already the potential to be great. And the seed of God is sowed on the inside of you. Um, but the seed, every seed to become a tree needed um, two atmosphere, right? It needs what? It needs sunlight and it needs water. Amen. The sunlight is what is everybody sees, and the water, nobody because it's under the ground. You can't even throw the water in here to benefit the plant. It has to be under the earth and the surface of the ground. Amen. The ground is your physical body, and that water operate is is the atmosphere of your soul. If your soul is not clear, the water in you cannot be clear. And so, when the potential of God is in you, you have to pour something in it. That is going to expand. See that? And when you pour on what God has given unto you, you expand the potential of it. The seed of God is on the inside of you, but it's only in seed form. You have to pour something in it that causes it to grow. Um, when, when God wants to operate in your life, people of God, God needs an atmosphere of praise because God doesn't operate in any other atmosphere. If you ever had a problem in your life that you've been praying about that you can't fix, Walk back right in that problem and praise God. You got issues on your job that you can't fix. You've been praying about them. You've been interceding about them. You've been fasting about them. Go back on the job. And while they're messing with you, praise God instead of fighting back. Because when you praise and you want to praise God, they're talking back about you too. You want them to say something. 
negative and you pray, you pray for the community and you introduce God in that situation. A lot of times what we do is we defend yourself. And God don't operate when you defend yourself. God operates when you deny yourself. Amen. So we're going to go to, I'm going to show you how to do self-denial instead of self-defense. And how you are blocking God from doing what you're praying for him to do. Amen. Amen. And so when God can expect to you, I didn't just have a little taste. No, I got a whole cup full that I can drink, that I can bless you. And I want to show you how to expand the seed of God in you. Amen. Amen. Delicious. Amen. So God is good. So put your hands together. Amen. As we welcome to front, amen. The great, the woman only, Apostle Sheila Diane Lewis.
in this atmosphere. We release ourselves in this sanctuary. We release ourselves in this Chicago glory this morning, God. We release ourselves that you may move by the power, by your spirit. For the word of God says it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. So God, we release ourselves this morning that your spirit, your spirit may move in our midst this morning. Oh God, it's not about a show, it's not about fashion, but it's allowing the spirit of the living God to be self evident in the house. Right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that has tried to come up and provoke you to do things, provoke you to wrath, provoke you to dishonor, provoke you to unrighteousness, to provoke you to do things that you know that you should not be doing. I cancel that assignment off of your life right now in the name of Jesus. And God, today, all of the honor and all of the glory belongs to you because you simply deserve it. And we give you praise.
There is no doubt today that God wants worship. God wants us to get in this place of worship. God wants to put us to be in a place where he become the foremost and the most important things in our life. God wants us to allow him to sit on the seat, to sit on the seat of prominence in our life. Because no matter what else we do, no matter what else is said to you, no matter how awesome the message will be this morning, if you don't walk in your life and allow God to sit in the seat of prominence in your life, the devil will occupy the position. We got to do this. This is the heart church. Worship has to be something that comes from your heart. If you can't worship God in this atmosphere, you will not get God worship nowhere else. And can I tell you, in order for God to move, you have to be able to give God worship. So let's do this. Let's do this. Everybody have a seat. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I don't know if you want to sit, if you want to lean forward, but I want you to, since your problem is weighing you down, and sometimes when the problem is weighing you down, you can't stand up. Sometimes when the problem is weighing you down, you can't lift your hands. Sometimes when your problem is weighing you down, you can't even open up your mouth. But I just want to take you right back to the place where you are and let you know that even when you're going to the valley of the shadow that God is with you. I want to show you that even when you're in the mess, that God is still with you. Because God is not just for you and God is not just with you, but God is in you. You can worship God right there in the mess. Right there in your place of defeat. Right there in your place of your load of heart. Right there in your place where you don't feel like you have enough strength, you can still worship God. You feel comfortable? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Say, say, I'm comfortable. But God needs to be my focus. Right there, right there, right there, right there. See, y'all didn't do much. He didn't do much. Say, 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 God, I know you deserve my worship, but I don't know how to give it to you. But guess what you're doing? You're talking to God. See what you're doing right there? See, 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 see. Just say something. See, see, watch this, watch this thing. Say, 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 the Holy Spirit, help me to set the atmosphere. But God will move it. So Holy Spirit, stop the atmosphere in me. I, I, I'm stressed out. But I need an atmosphere for God. So, 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 I'm confused. But I need an atmosphere. So, you see, you see, you ain't saying no. But something is happening. Something is happening. You see how easy works for this? So, so, God, you are my focus. I can't handle this. But I'm giving you glory. Okay, that was too easy. That was too easy. See, see what's happening when you're going to write, the keyboard ain't there. So be quiet, because you ain't got no keyboard. See, when you're going through the drum ain't there. Because some of you still look at me. Some of you still got your lips glued. And you can't walk in victory. Let me, let me, let me talk to 
this room. Because it seems like there's a lot of seed in this room. I'm coming for you. I'm talking to you too. I'm talking to you, Shaq. I see you, I see you, I see you. I'm not going through, I see you. Say, say, God, I don't know what to say. But I'm making you my focus. It's your easy on this. Say, 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 say. I'm shy. But you give me this voice. So I'm gonna call your name. You said if I say the name Jesus, every knee must bow. I don't know what's weighing me down, but I'm just gonna say Jesus. Oh, come, come, come on, come on, come on. You can say the name. I'm the better. Say, I'm just gonna say the name Jesus. Just say Jesus. Oh, just say Jesus. Say, say, say. I don't know what to say. Just say Jesus. Just say Jesus. Right? 
The only two that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ask or think, right? Yeah. That's what working on the outside. But it's also according to the power that's working in you. If you want something to work on the outside of your life, something must be working conducively on the inside of you. Church and leave the same way you came here. The power of God is here. 
and God is here to do it because he's already done it for you. God bless you. all this honor and glory in this house today. Hallelujah. 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 So what I'm going to read this one passage of scripture to you and then I'm going to end this. You don't even have to turn with me because we're going to uh, exercise the joy of the Lord uh, this morning that is already evident in this house. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, by 8 and 10. You don't even have to go there. Hallelujah. And I'm probably going to go, to, uh, go back to James if the Lord permits. Nehemiah 8 and 10 said, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is more. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Somebody say, This day, this day is holy, holy unto our Lord. Lord. Remember earlier today I said that we were standing on holy ground, and that holy ground has nothing to do with this building, has nothing to do with the chairs that you're sitting in, it has nothing to do with these, uh, these walls, it has nothing to do with the decorum that is in this building, but it has everything to do with the essence and the presence of God that lets us know that we are standing on holy ground. And the scripture says, for this day is holy unto the Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Is your strength. Oh my God. He says, don't be sorry about anything that's taking place today, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. We better exercise as if we haven't already been exercising our spiritual man. I don't know about y'all, but I feel so full in the Holy Ghost. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. How many my God. of us in here need some joy today? My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need everybody to look this way right here at me. My God. Don't lie to yourself. Because you know how we get ourselves in trouble? We lie to ourselves too. Amen. Amen. Men of God, we try to pretend like we're okay. <laughs> I pretend so well in front of you, Sister Terry, that you'll never know that nothing was wrong with me. I can be the greatest actress that you've ever seen. Because I can dress it up, I can look the part, I can act the part, I can talk the part. And you don't know that I'm dying on the inside. I never came in contact with that man that's called joy. I never came in contact with the one that they called Jehovah Shalom. I never came in contact with the one that they called Jehovah Jireh. I'll make you think I come in contact with him by the things that I say and the way that I look, but I'm on the inside. I know that I never had contact with them. But I believe today we made contact with joy. Jesus, Jesus. I believe today we experience the holiness of God. And if you sat in this house for the last hour and a half, and then you did not feel the presence of Jehovah, then you need to be at this altar right now today. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. I might say for the joy of the Lord. want you to leave this house today the same way you came in here. He does not want you to walk out of here feeling like a failure. He does not want you to walk out of here to want to feel like you've been defeated in life. And everything you do, everything that you put your hands to, every place you go to, you've experienced nothing but darkness and it is not today. You will not walk out of this house today feeling like nothing is going for your good. Apostle just told us, if I can paraphrase what he just said, that God has given you the most powerful weapon that you can ever possess in your hands, and that is the weapon of praise. If nothing else can't get you out of it, a lawyer can't get you that lost. Uh, uh, hey! Those no specialists that you've been going to from state to state, from nation to nation, can't heal that cancer in your body because it is so rare that there's not even a name to it. My God! That child that you have been getting in and out of rehab and will relapse time after time again. And no matter how many times you've taken them to rehab and you try to get them healed, delivered, and set free, nothing can do it. Jesus. That 
that marriage that you've been suffering with and fighting with for so long, and you know you love that man, you know you love that woman, but you feel like I just cannot do this anymore. I don't care how many marriage counselors you go to, I don't care how many therapists you go to, can't nobody do it but you. But today,
years ago, way before I met my husband, I had thoughts of suicide. And I went to the beach. I, I contemplated suicide many, many times and actually made one attempt. But this particular night, I went to the beach and I couldn't swim. So I went to the beach and I said, I'll just walk out into the water and let the water just overtake me and, and just drown myself. But the closer I got to the water, I stopped my own crazy self from walking in that water because the things that I wanted to do, I said, what if I drown? <laughs> but that's what I wanted to do. But yet I'm telling myself, what if I drown? So I stopped myself. I heard the Holy Ghost say to me, he said, scream, Sheila. And no one called me Sheila back then. Everybody called me Diane. But when I got delivered, God changed my name. He says, you know I'll be recognized as Diane, but you'll be recognized as Sheila. He changed my name. He said, scream, Sheila, right on the beach. And I was like, God, there's people on the beach. He said, it doesn't matter, scream for your deliverance. Sometimes you gotta open up your mouth and you don't know anything else to say, but if you know how to scream, that's all you need to do is release the sound. God wants to release the sound in your life this morning, Sister Tower. Prophet God wants to release the sound in your life this morning. Shabanda, you can be where God wants to release a sound in you this morning. At the count of three, and I'm going to be through because I believe God would have done what he needed to do with God. I want you to jump to your feet. I want you to shout joy. I want you to scream. I want you to do whatever it is that you need to do because today you're going to walk out of this house delivered and set free. When you come back in your Wednesday night or Sunday morning, you're going to walk into this house with a praise. There's not going to be any unnecessary chatter. There's not going to be any unnecessary conversations. We're going to walk back into this house. Glory to God with the praise. Purses off your lap because some of y'all might stop running. Pastor Jones, you need this. I need it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't be concerned about who's around you. That's right. Don't be concerned about who's looking at you. I'm telling you, if you have never trusted anything I said to you today, trust me that God says that He wants to hear you. Yes. If you don't need a scream for somebody else. Ah, scream for that wife that you know has been abused by her husband, but she's never said it, but you've been seeing it. No scream for that child that you know that needs to be delivered. If you don't need to do it, do it for somebody else. Yeah. At the sound of three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah.
let it go. Come on, let's do that one more time. Take the deepest breath that you can take. Now release it. Last time, the deepest breath that you can take. That's right, short hair. disappointment, you release pain. You release dissatisfaction. Thank you. You release contentment. You release your marriage. You release your children. You release your job. You release yourself.
spirit of our living God is delivering. He's setting free. He's mending hearts today. He's mending hearts. He's hearing your cry. Your hearts cry. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. All the loneliness and all the pain. Every tear. God is answering for the presence of the living God is here with you. And he is delivering you. And he's setting you free. And he's establishing you in the place that he has sent you. He has established you. For he has never left you alone. 